what's up everybody I'm Jolly and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious apple turnovers from scratch. This recipe makes about 10 turnovers and it is absolutely delicious. So let's get started. Here is all what you will need to make your apple turnovers. You will need four large Granny Smith apples, one large lemon, all-purpose flour, sugar, brown sugar, salt, cornstarch, vegetable shortening at room temperature, unsalted butter at room temperature, cold water, and one large egg. You will also need some vanilla extract, cinnamon, and allspice. For your tools you will need some parchment paper, a pastry blender, a fruit peeler, and an apple core. You will also need a rolling pin, a pastry bag, and a pastry brush. And to bake your apple turnovers you will need an 11 by 17 inch baking pan and there we have it add three cups of all-purpose flour four tablespoons of sugar and one fourth teaspoon of salt stir all ingredients together Add 9 tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature and 9 tablespoons of vegetable shortening at room temperature. Take your pastry blender and cut the butter and shortening into the flour. As you can see, this mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Add a half a cup of cold water. Stir ingredients until mixture forms a dough. As you can see here, I'm kneading the dough with my hand just to get it all combined together. Now our pie dough is ready. We're going to place this into the fridge for 30 minutes. Peel your apples. And this is how they will look when we're done. Take your apple core and place it into the center of your apple and push down. Take the core and discard the core. To ensure that the core has been totally removed, take your knife and you're going to cut off the edges off of each individual apple slice. Once done, take your apple slices and cut them into small cubes. And this is how it looks when we're done. Rinse off one large lemon Cut the lemon in half. Take one half of the lemon and squeeze it on top of your apple cubes. Stir all ingredients together. Add one third cup of sugar. 
one third cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of allspice, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Stir all ingredients together. Now as you are stirring all of your ingredients, you will notice that your apple will start to release its juices. So you're going to continue to stir this for five minutes. And as you can see, after five minutes, our apples have released their juices. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. Add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Spread butter around the bottom of your pan. Let the butter melt. Add your apple filling. Stir all ingredients together. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir all ingredients together. Let simmer for three minutes. been about three minutes now and our apple filling is done. Turn your fire off. Let the filling cool completely. Lightly flour the surface of your table. Add the dough on top of your table. Form into a small rectangle. Using your rolling pin, roll dough into a 22 inch long by 9 inch wide rectangle. And as you can see, that's 22 inches long, 9 inches wide. Cut off the edges of the dough. Once done, you should have a 20 inch long by 8 inch wide rectangle. Cut the dough into 10 squares. Each square should be 4 inches by 4 inches. 4 inches long, 4 inches wide. And any excess dough, you want to remove that. Lightly butter the bottom of your baking pan. Add a sheet of parchment paper into the pan. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Add your apple filling into a pastry bag. Type your apple filling onto each individual dough square.
Take one half of your dough and fold it over the apple filling. You should have a triangular shape once it's done. And this is how they look when we're done. To seal the edges, you're just going to take your two fingers and press down onto the edges. Take your apple turnovers and place into your baking pan. Using a sharp knife, cut a small incision on top of each individual apple turnover. If you want to make the holes for your apple turnover wider, just take your knife and just push against the sides of each individual hole. Here I have one large egg. We're going to mix that in. Here I have our egg mixture and a pastry brush. Lightly brush the egg on top of each individual apple turnover. This next step is optional. Here I have some cinnamon sugar. All this is is one fourth cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mix that together and there you go. Generously sprinkle the cinnamon sugar on top of each individual apple turnover. Now they're ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 350 degree oven. Bake for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, remove your apple turnovers out of the oven. Let your apple turnovers cool until they are warm. This is how the inside of the apple turnovers look. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it, apple turnovers from scratch. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Looks good. Mmm. crust is nice and buttery. Then you have that apple filling with the flavoring and spices. It's very, very good. I mean, man, it is delicious. I really enjoyed this and I'm sure you will too. So, try the recipe. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Apple turnovers made from scratch by a New Orleans native. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like up, subscribe to my channel so you can enjoy all of my delicious recipes cooked right here in my kitchen. If you have any questions or comments, please post them or you can email me at charliethecookandrews at gmail.com. You can also like, follow, or contact me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash charliethecookandrews. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliecookandrews.webs.com and if you want to donate to the channel check out the links in the description box and it'll take you step by step on how to donate so until next time take care and i hope you all have a blessed day
Peace.